Hello peeps and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. We've got a lot of stuff to cover today because we have some lofty ambitions. Let me show you what I did off camera. It's a lot. Okay, so I figured out how to make the clean osmium slurry and the DT fuel. Clean osmium slurry is osmium ore processed through a chemical dissolution chamber with sulfuric acid. Now note that the mechanism chemicals, if it's, a, if it's a gas, it'll just say the name of the gas. If it's a liquid, it'll say liquid and the name of the stuff. Also note that all of the mechanism stuff can be changed from gas form to liquid form by putting it through a rotary condensator. and I have a creative tank. So if I do that, I can essentially get unlimited amounts of stuff if I can get just a tiny little bit of it. So that's how I did most of this. So sulfuric acid is made by combining, uh, let's see. Sulfuric acid is water vapor, which is water put through a condensator, and sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide is chemical uh, fusion, chemical, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, chemical infuser between uh, sulfur dioxide and oxygen. Sulfur dioxide is a chemical oxidizer with sulfur. So that got me sulfur dioxide. I made a tank of liquid sulfur dioxide using my creative tank and processed a bunch of it. So sulfur ore becomes osmium slurry. Osmium slurry through a chemical washer becomes clean osmium slurry. Clean osmium slurry is a gas for whatever reason. And I have five tanks over here. I also have five tanks in my inventory. DT fuel is deuterium and tritium. Deuterium is heavy water processed through an electrolytic separator. Heavy water is produced with a mechanism pump with a filter upgrade in it. So I got a tank of heavy water, processed a crap load of deuterium, and that was good. I need to charge my ender. Running out of power. I can't charge my ender. That's annoying. Oh, I still got 3,000 RF in it. Whatever. Um, so that gave me deuterium. Tritium is lithium, which this is liquid lithium. Put through a rotor condensator to get gaseous lithium. Put into a solar neutron activator. I was just using this gauge dropper to get tritium. Process that into liquid form. Process the deuterium into liquid form. Combine that together in the chemical infuser and got DT fuel. Ran that through a rotary condensator and got liquid DT fuel. And then put that back through the condensator to get the gases. So these are the five gases that I need. I also have a shitload of creative energy cubes on me. Notice that I've taken up most of my uh, capacitors from over there. And it is time. Sodium goes in the middle. Ethylene goes on the right. Osmium slurry goes on top. Hydrogen chloride goes on this side. DT fuel goes on the bottom. Creative gas tank. Oh, yeah. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the creative gas tank up here. We're going to change this creative gas tank, configured on the bottom, to output. We're going to get five more basic gas tanks. Why? Well, because I want a third gas tank of all of these. Uh, no, need my gauge dropper. So, we'll fill up some sodium. We'll set this to sodium. We'll put our sodium back in here. And it looks like we might actually need to get a little more sodium. That's fine. Easy enough. Whoa, what the hell? That ain't cool. Hey, stop that. Oh, what the hell? Maybe I need a pressurized pipe. Uh... T 
totally not what I meant to do, but whatever. Well, I guess it works. Okay, let's fill that with a little bit of sodium. Pop that in here. No, in there. There we go, 64,000 sodium. Break that. Uh, sodium gas tank goes right there. Next up, clear the gauge dropper. Ethylene. Okay, this thing I believe I need to pick up and use it there to empty it. Yes. So, gas tank there. Stop that. You have ethylene now. And you have ethylene now. You should have ethylene. We'll make you have ethylene. Maybe we won't make you have ethylene. Oh. No, that needs to be input. That needs to be output. There we go. And we'll go ahead and fill that with a little bit of ethylene. Break that. There's our second ethylene tank. You may wonder why we're doing this. It will become apparent in a little bit. Break you. Break you. Creative tank empty. Tank up. Let me just get that off my hotbar for now. Outputs. Pressurized tube. Gas tank. Third gas, hydrogen chloride. You are now hydrogen chloride. Give me a little bit. Fill this tank again. Clear it. Check it. Break it. Place it. Pick up some DT. Break you. Break you. Pipe. Clear the tank. Tank up. Tank down. Output. DT fuel. Pick up a little bit. Put you in here. Clear it. Grab it. Done. Break it. Place it. Why? Move. Place it. Uh, it's not the correct gas tank. That's the creative. Creative tank. Osmium slurry. Pick up a little bit. Refill that. You're full. Clear that. Now, we're going to pick these up. And 
once again. Two, three, four. Ethylene, sodium, hydrogen chloride, osmium slurry, DT fuel, second creative gas tank. All right, we are down to not much left to go. So we're going to pop over here. I have on me a creative energy cube, which we're going to change to a creative capacitor bank. There's a second. There's a third. There's a fourth. Two of these need to be changed to quantum generators. I also need to make sure that these are clear. Short mean, biodiesel, and powered oil, vapor of levity, IC2 hot coolant. I have another one of all of those tanks in there also. Create a fluid tank. Aw, oh, you're a pain in the ass. Might have gotten the order wrong. Uh, empowered oil, IC2 hot coolant. Vapor of levity, biodiesel. Short meat. There we go. Creative fluid tank. Need my other creative fluid tank, which is right over here. Are you guys ready for this? Because I sure am. The creative vending upgrade. Two creative fluid tanks. Two creative gas tanks. Manulium. HDPE. Iridium. Scented paneling. And octuple compressed. Manolian on top, HDPE, then Iridium, scented paneling on the bottom, creative vending upgrades. I have just beaten the pack. Stack limit, infinite. I'm pretty sure if I use a hopper, I can put a creative ending upgrade in there. Yep. I can now pull out unlimited creative ending upgrades. Well, what's the first thing I want to creatively vend? Put a drawer down over here. Pop a creative vending upgrade in it. Uh, let's see here. How about a creative capacitor bank? That seems like a good thing to upgrade, or to have infinite amounts of. Seems like a great thing to have infinite amounts of. You know what else would be great to have infinite amounts of? Great of tanks.
Let's see, how does this go? Empowered oil, biodiesel, I see too hot coal. It was almost right. Well, we can now produce creative fluid tanks infinitely. But why stop there? You knew there was a reason I did this, right? That is apparently a bug. Um, when that happens, you have to save. I have to wait for a few seconds, because if I try to restart immediately, it will crash my game. Not badly, but I don't want to have to restart Minecraft. There we go. Now let's try it. DT fuel. Uh, ooh, ethylene is not full. That could have something to do with it. But I have like a crap ton of ethylene over here. So, it's not difficult to get. Uh, I'll just pop you down there. That'll fill up fast enough. Ethylene, DT fuel, hydrogen chloride, osmium slurry, sodium, one, two, three, four. Creative gas tank. Let's have infinite amounts of those, too. Let's see, what else is a pain to get? Chaos shards. Actually, I don't even need to do chaos shards. Well, actually, I do want to do a chaos shard. Why not? Let's go nuts. Don't have quite enough upgrades. Let's go get a few more. There we go. What happens if I use the drawer key on these? The quantity key. Does it actually show infinite? Ooh, <laughs> it shows a number. It's very big. Okay, well, uh, yeah, chaos shards. Let's have tons of them, huh? Uh, awaken draconium. Oh, awaken cores too. Those are a pain. Chaotic core, sure. Awaken core. No, not the draconic flux. I don't know if that can even be put in. Oh, it actually can. Uh, well then, um, it doesn't re it doesn't retain its upgrades though. So that kind of sucks. But I mean, hell, it's not like it matters. We've beaten the pack. Can I put that away? I can put that away. That's cool. Um, balls of fur. Why not? 
Kitty's been kind. Let's be kind back. Hello, Kitty. I bring you all of the balls of fur you could ever want. Meow. There, have some fur. Uh, what else? Nether stars. I don't want to have to build those anymore. Uh, what else? Um, I could do... Uh, you guys get the point. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go through and do every single freaking item. But, you get the point. This is stupid. This is absolutely ridiculous. So, there's only one more thing that I could possibly do. And that is create the angel ring. The angel ring is an enchanted ingot, a flight module, an ender star, two draconic cores, a golden lasso with a bat, a flight modifier, a cursed lasso with a ghast, and the dark solarium jet plate. I am going to put all of that stuff together off camera. It's not going to take me long because creatives. But I don't want to go through all of that on camera this time. This, I believe, is going to be a short episode. Next episode. We're going to go nuts. We're going to make the creative ring, and then we are going to say goodbye to all of this. I was thinking about upgrading this to a tier 8, and just putting down a whole bunch of creative capacitor banks and beaming crap tons of power into it, but eh, why? It's not like I need it. So instead, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play around with something dangerous. We get the Draconic Evolution tablet out and take a look at this thing. In here, where is it? There's an energy, well, it's not the energy storage core. It's Draconic Evolution. Uh, da -da. Where the hell is there a Draconic Reactor? Because that's how I plan on ending this world. Energy network. No. Nope. Uh, extremely dangerous power. Gen yeah, that's nice. Extremely dangerous power generation. Where is it? That's just a regular generator. Ender energy manipulation, no. Where the hell is it? Yeah, energy pylons, energy cores. I don't care about any of that. I want to know how to create the reactor. Okay, they are actually here. Chaos Shard. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's let's get it going. Need you. Need one of you. Need some of you. And we're going to come over and pay a visit to you. Four Draconium, or four Awakened, three Regular. We are making a very dangerous toy. I'm going to have to look up off-camera how this reactor works. 
but we have a very dangerous toy. And I fully intend to use this very dangerous toy next episode to put a complete end to my world and kick off Eng Age of Engineering with a big <laughs> bang. So, next episode, we're going to create the Angel Ring, we're going to create the Draconic Reactor, and then we're going to blow everything up. Until then, this has been Night Dagger with episode 69 of Age of Engineering. This was the goal. Creative ending upgrades are a thing. I didn't think we'd be able to do it. When I first looked at the pack, and I looked at what it was going to take to get that creative ending upgrade, I thought it was going to take, like, forever. I thought, like, I thought I'd struggle to get the capacitor, and then it would take me quite a while to get the fluid thing, and then from there it would be relatively easy to get the gas thing. But then from there, I thought it was going to take absolutely forever to get the stuff for the creative ending. But it actually didn't. It only took me a total of, like, 12 hours, and most of that was spent just idling. Like, the HDP production that I set up was stupid fast. Um, this thing, once I had a quantum generator hooked up to it, only took like 8 hours to transform 4096 for this. Um, Manulian, I just put a whole crap load of cobalt and ardite that I hadn't processed into that, and turned that into Manulian, and I, I did dupe about a stack worth of blocks just to get there to for sure, but it wasn't bad at all. Like, I was actually a little underwhelmed with how easy it was to create the creative ending upgrade once I got to this point. So, I think this is about where we're going to end the series. Like I said, next episode, we'll do the Angel Ring just so that we can get the last trophy. We'll build the Draconic Reactor and we'll go out with a big bang. There will be much fireworks, much rejoicing, and then we will move on to, well, I was going to say bigger and better things, but I don't think you get bigger than a creative upgrade and a draconic reactor and all that. So we'll be moving on to different things. For now, this has been Night Dagger. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hope you guys are looking forward to the grand finale next episode. Hope you guys are looking forward to what follows beyond, and I'll catch you later, peeps.